Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Dine Out Part 6. And we are at the new and improved, newly renovated uh, Dick Monalds, but we need to change the name. So first up, if you guys have a new name for this franchise that is not Dick Monalds, but is just as awesome. No, really, but it shouldn't be that hard to beat Dick Monalds. <laughs> um, please comment down below because I really, really, really want to name it after one of your ideas. So um, anyways, this is a new Dick Monalds that Stephanie has come up with and it's it's beautiful. It, it's still like just a renovated Dick Monalds. I've actually put the renovation of Dick Monalds on my channel so you can watch that. But basically, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description down below. There is like a beautiful outdoor area for kids and we've got all these outdoor seating areas. We should probably put some heaters up actually. And uh, then in here we have lots of greenery inside and it's just a lot more friendly friendly looking. And I've also added lots and lots and lots of your Sims to this LP. So they're going to be coming to this new and improved diner as well. So that's pretty cool. I think there's actually a couple here that you guys, um, that you guys made. So there's Roderick Freeman and Olive Harvey oh, and Mr. Wu. How cute. Oh, and Stephanie. Hey, Steph. How are you doing? Mr. Wu's looking pretty happy. I think Stephanie's come by because there's a few things they still need to do. They definitely need to change the outfits of the workers. <laughs> and we also need to improve the quality ingredients. So we need to go do that and check out the menu uh, and also see what level our staff are at so we can make that menu um, change, but still at their skill level. So let's do that for starters. Uh, this is Dick Monald's Beach that I've renovated, not their most successful restaurant because I thought their more successful restaurant should end up being really high class, you know, maybe a completely different place uh, instead of a franchise. I don't know. But Dick Monald's drive through we're going to work on that uh, separately. So if you have any ideas for that, do comment down below as well. Um, but for Dick Monald's Beach, let's check out our staff, where they're at. Okay, so we've got one chef, Jack Peterson, who's absolutely killing it. He is just like professional chef, whereas Rocky Tracy kind of sucks. Like, eh, we're going to have to simplify the ingredients until Rocky can cook better meals because otherwise that's going to bring the whole restaurant down. So Rocky needs a bit of help. Uh, in terms of waiters, our waiters are pretty good. Michaela's better. Laurel, she'll get there. So we need to train her up. And then we also need to... Oh, no. Jessica, our host, is killing it too. Fully promoted. Nice. Got to give our other staff a promotion too. Uh, but let's make some restaurant changes. So our markup is 300%. Love it. Because this restaurant is quite big though. I'm thinking we push it to 480 a day. That's a lot of money, but I don't know. We'll see. And our... Ooh. We should go all out and make this like vegan slash vegetarian, GMO free and freshly harvested local ingredients. Or we could just do fresh organic. <sighs> let's just do fresh organic for now. Yes, and we're going to change all of all of this because if we want orga fresh organic vegan meals, we gotta we got to make it look like that. So I don't think we can go past the difficulty of three right now, uh, but I think that we should definitely just serve plain coffee. No, no coffee. We'll do like tea, chamomile, Earl Grey. No, actually, we want to make it really expensive though. <gasps> We want expensive things. So we can't do five out of five until our chef is better. I think we can do three out of five. So let's serve some River Blossom, Soft Shadow, Sea Splash. Why not? A Salty Llama is always a good time. Protein shakes. Cool. Uh, yeah, that, that'll probably do. And a bit of Blanco. We'll go Blanco, keeping everyone happy. Uh, these are too inexpensive for our liking. We're here to make the moolah, all right? Mr. Wu doesn't muck around. So, and Stephanie realizes that as well. Uh, in terms of meals, hmm. Can't do five out, of, five out of five meals just yet. Let's take it down a few notches to three. Um, I guess shrimp isn't really vegan. Peter and hummus tapa could be made vegan. Uh, minestrone could be vegan. This is awesome. Clam chowder is not really vegan. We could do a vegan Caesar salad version. 
Eh, vegetable tempura could be vegan. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Oh, ceviche. I know it's usually fish, but let's just say that fish is vegan. <laughs> no, we better not do that. What's a Capri salad? Is that vegan? I don't know. <gasps> Scones. Ew, cheese eyeballs. No. Let's just keep the menu pretty simple for now and then we'll add the squash soup and like asparagus and fruit gel and foam nest and all of that in a little while. Yes. Okay. And then in terms, oh, what? That was just appetizers? Whew. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. Let's get rid of all of this crappy food. No, thank you. Okay, so... I was thinking, where are all the food options? Uh, beach noodles, yes. Clover salad, sizzled brisket. Let's say it's this vegan brisket. A bamboo roll, yes please. Omelette, hmm. We can't really have eggs. What is gumbo? Oh, these are starting to get more difficult now. I don't think we can serve those. I think we're just gonna, and maybe we'll do a pasta primavera. I don't know what that has in it. Let's maybe change the uh, appetizers to just a few of the more expensive ones because we would rather people buy more expensive mains. So, oh no, we'll leave those, we'll leave those. And in terms of dessert, where my fancy desserts at? Four out of five. Three out of five. Okay. White and black cake. <gasps> Apple pie. Yummy, yummy. Uh, oh, that looks so good. Vanilla seashells. What even is that? So creative. Let's do just like, I don't know. White and black cake. <gasps> Rainbow gelatin cake. Yummy. Let's do a strawberry fizzy cupcake. Fruit cake. These are all like vegetarian. I don't like the strawberry cake, I've decided. Let's just do two really epic vegan desserts. Or three. White and black cake, black and white cake. <gasps> Which will you choose? Okay, that should do. And in terms of what these guys are gonna wear, this is like not okay. We can go that and that for our chefs. That's pretty easy and straightforward. Our weight stuff. Uh, should we keep them simple for now? And our host outfits. I think we need to change the host and waiters actually to something a bit nicer. Because it's a little bit too formal. Uh, we could give them really cute little green aprons and stuff. That could be nice. But then the host staff might need something a little bit different. So maybe we should put... Our female host in a nice green dress. Like this. Oh, she should probably have closed shoes, actually. It's a bit inappropriate to have your toes showing whilst waitressing. It's not what you want. Maybe we just get some cute little... Nah, I don't like those. Uh, just some little slippers. These are the types of shoes I used to wear while I waitressed. I waitressed for so many years before YouTube took off. So we'll just get... We'll get our, wait, our hostess with the mostess to wear that. Alrighty, so we've got the nice chef outfits, pretty plain. And then we have these more casual, but still very nice outfits for the waiters. And our hostess is going to wear this nice green dress. So there we go. Everyone can be happy. Everyone's dressed a lot nicely. Are they already in their outfits? Ah, cute. I didn't want it too matchy-matchy. I wanted it to be a little bit organic. Our chefs were all dressed. And where's our waitress? Oh, the waitresses look really nice. Cute, I like that. Oh my gosh, the clown hair. I thought we said down with the clown. <gasps> She's come to our other restaurant because she can. <laughs> oh, good grief. Okay, Mr. Wu, what else, what other options? Request cooking speed is quickly. Is your, yeah, he's cooking quickly as well. Oh, those clowns, I swear. <laughs> those clowns are driving me nuts. Um, just making sure that we need to make sure all of our sims have really good training. Okay. I might actually open up 
to McDonald's drive through as well. Now that, that we're earning a little bit more money there, we probably don't need to worry about worry about it as much. And great, just why I wanted it, a chance to go to a class in my off time. Perfect. Awesome. Check on table and welcome these guys. Let's try and get that uh, star points up. Oh. And it's slowed down a little bit now, hasn't it? Hmm. Welcome. I hope you have an excellent time at our restaurant. Enjoy our organic foods. Oh, whoops. Do not drink that guy's coffee because what's this guy's name? Marcus Flex. We'll beat you up, son. He will. He's, he always be flexing their muscles. Uh, oh, he's already loving our restaurants. Of course. Why wouldn't you? Perfect. Hmm. I have noticed, sir, the lighting in this joint is not impressive. <laughs> Let's just turn on all the lights. But none of them... What? Oh, you guys. Oh, that's better. Okay, good. All our lights are on. I'm happy, except for the fact that that little table's glitching out a bit. That might frustrate us a little. Let's get some heaters for outside, because I feel like this looks cold. This looks very cold. So let's go heater. Oh, heat. Heat seeker in fireplaces. Hmm. Outdoor heater. What would this be under? I don't know. Let's go to Pax and Dinance. Dine out. What are those? Oh, here we go. What's it called? A warming lamp. Okay. Let's go. Should we go black? Is there an all black one? No. I don't like the white and black. It's too stark. We'll go brown. Let me just put some heaters around the place. Keep it looking. Oh, I like that. Do they have light coming off them? Because that's a nice addition. If, if that is true. Uh, where do you put these heaters? Do you put them like right next to the tables like that? Or I don't know where to, how the placement of heaters works in life. I suppose you put them near the outside of the table. Maybe. Oh, I'll put one here. And I hope they do give off a little bit of light because we may have to add some extra outdoor lighting, but hey, this should do for now. You're going to be warm enough, guys. We'll put a heater there just for you. Oh, that is so in the walkway. So we'll put one over here. Put one there. Okay. There you guys go. Turn off auto behavior. Turn on. Auto behavior. So they turn on by themselves, do they? Oh, thank you. Turn them all on. Let's heat up this joint. It's getting hot in here, so hot. So, Roderick, take off all your clothes. I am again. Okay, sorry, I got carried away. Um, <laughs> oh, these lights are bright. Hello, welcome to our restaurant. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Eric. Oh, Eric is the the gay dad of a lot of kids, actually. He's got several kids. Um, that was a creator's family as well. Ugh, do we, I don't, I'm not even gonna bother checking on you guys again. Not that I can anyways, but yeah. Mm -mm. All right, I think everyone's pretty happy. I think we're all going well here. We've been open for eight hours, so maybe we'll, we'll close the till and uh, not let any more new customers come in because we'll probably close in the next hour or so yeah hey lady we we don't really want to talk to you fine we'll say welcome she's like waving to us ah uh, excuse me we closed up girl christy Ugh, she's like i don't care i want to be fed so i'm coming in anyways she's sassy in a leopard print skirt giselle we said we were closed <gasps> Sneaky bitches just coming in here when they're not allowed to. I don't think this place is a particularly good... It doesn't really feel like it has nighttime vibes. I do like the fact that Eric likes the decor. He's such a cute dad. I love him. I wish he was my own dad. All right, you guys. Uh, let's just speed this up 
until everyone's finished their meals because I really want to get home and I want to get Ali to make some friends and, you know, I don't know. I just want them to, I want to focus on the kids a little bit. Why are you, what? I'm not very happy about the wait times here. Oh. Well, I can't prioritize your meal because I don't know why I can't, but sozzles. All right, everybody. Maybe we maybe we need more stuff. Oh, oh, check out this meal. <gasps> what did you order? Oh, that looks magnificent. The glacier infused iceberg lettuce. <gasps> oh my lord. Oh, get that in my tummy. That looks so good, even though it's so unrealistic. By Jack Peterson. We better go tell Jack, our head chef, how awesome he is. Oh, look at him go. Look at him throwing those knives like a professional knife thrower. I wish we could date him. It'd be nice. Hey, girl, are you just, are you doing anything? Okay, good. Please take the food out. Oh, she's not even carrying the food? Oh. <laughs> what did you guys order? What did you order from our magnificent menu? Oh, a bit of a bit of cake, a bit of sausage and peppers. Is that on the menu? Did I put sausage and peppers on the menu? Oh, yeah, I would totally take a picture of that. If that was on my Instagram, I feel like you guys would definitely like that. Definitely. Excellent. Oh, Jack, you're killing it. I think Jack's doing all the cooking tonight. Are you guys new people? Oh my lord, Ellen DeGeneres is here, everybody. Oh, we will let you dine even though we're closed. I don't know why they keep coming in, but we're probably going to have to close. Oh, we're going to have to close anyway because our staff will get unhappy. Yay, even though we've had so many costs, we still made $177. That's not bad. That is not bad. And McDonald's drive throughs only been open for seven, five hours. All right, guys, thanks for coming to our opening of the new restaurant yet to be named. So you guys comment down below what you think this restaurant should be named because I don't know. Something like green and fresh and inviting and family friendly, warm, delicious, nutritious, you know, like the green, the green diner, diner green. No, that's terrible. I'm going to leave this up to you guys because clearly you guys will do a much better job naming than I will. A that, Mr. Wu is back in town, back home. How is he going actually? He's in a very good mood. I reckon he's like, even though he's agreed for a business purpose to, to have a really healthy restaurant, he's still going to eat really bad food. So we're just going to get him to eat chips and like bad stuff. And then maybe he can, he's, he probably drinks a lot as well, which isn't really healthy to drink a lot of alcohol. So we might make a drink as well. Uh, we'll just get him to make something that looks like a beer, like a uh, flaming zesty salt looks a bit, little bit like beer. Kids in bed. Hey guys. Now, have we made any friends only Caitlin and Olivia. And Antonia really wants to get her ears pierced since she became really good friends with Olivia. And Olivia has her ears pierced, so I feel like that's like a thing. Maybe we should get you to sneak out a little bit. Because it's Friday. It's a Friday night. You know what? Oh no, she's too tired to creep out. Hmm. I might just wait actually and resume in the morning. Okay, so Ali is up and Adam for the day. Uh, she's a little bit hungry, but I think what I want to do is actually take the kids out for breakfast once they just get ready for the day because, I don't know, I think that would be nice. We might, oh, Mr. Wu is like killing it in terms of mood. Let's put this in there. Keep this house nice and clean. Oh, he never had his drink. I know, he'll probably, he'll probably drink in the early hours of the day. Maybe Mr. Wu is somewhat of an alcoholic. Maybe. Maybe that's how he deals with his stressful lifestyle as well. Um, oh, no, 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 no. You guys, we're going out for breakfast. We're going out for breakfast. You don't need two breakfasts. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Ali. Into your, into your lovely attire. Should we get breakfast at our new restaurant? 
or should we should we explore? Um, but Mr. Wu's gonna take the fam out once he has his morning. <laughs> Ew! He's drinking on the toilet, man. How desperate are you? How desperate are you for that drink? That's not good. That's not good. All right, let's go traveling. Let's go to a nice restaurant. We could go to our favorite seafood sensation place. We could go to our new place. But I think I think we want the service. So unless, did I place some in Newcrest? Oh. Guess not then. <laughs> All right, let's go back to our favorite seafood sensation. And I think we're going to invite our wonderful Whenever I see Stephanie Golden, I think Golden Blatch, like from Sex and the City. Harry Golden Blatch. Because, I don't know. I've watched that show so many times and I'm so obsessed with it. It just comes to my mind. Oh, Stephanie. I think she's falling for Mr. Wu. But Mr. Wu's so awkward with women. Maybe he can discuss his favorite recipes and express his admiration for her. I feel like they're gonna hook up soon though. It's definitely falling for her. Aww. Aww, so sweet. All right, let's go get some brekkie for everyone. Brek seafood brekkie. What is seafood brekkie? Like a fried rice type thing? Oh, hey, Bryson. Oh, look who it is. What is this? A Simley's creation? It's Zelda, one of the Simley's creations I picked to put in the town. You guys will start seeing some of your creations in town. Ugh, clown hair. Uh, because I've been, I've been placing them all. Is this one of your creations too, Chloe? Maybe, I'm not sure. Um, oh, I'm getting a phone call. It's not a good time, girl. <laughs> Sorry, Faramount. Uh, this is up against the wall again, so we can't have that. Can't have that. Uh, don't want that at all. Okay. All right. Perfect. Let's uh, request a table. Oh, I forgot to invite the kids as well. Damn. We'll try and make them a group, but he and Stephanie can have their own, their own private table, perhaps. Uh, let's see. Oh, Ali looks so nice in her outfit. Whoa, Stephanie! Girl, look at those gams. <gasps> Wow, Mr. Wu, you are attractive. And what are you wearing, Clay? This is just not, this is not, no, just no. <laughs> I am not feeling this outfit. Okay, can we have a, how do you make them into a group hangout? I should really know this. Add to group. You cannot change your ensemble once you have been seated at a table. Okay, well, that's how you form a group. So what, they're just going to have to awkwardly request a table by themselves? Or will they join Mr. Wu's table? I am assuming they will. Because if she tries to go on here, she can request a table. Oh no, they all have to sit. Ugh. Fine, we're going to take the others to a different restaurant. The kids can check out our new restaurant and Mr. Wu and Stephanie can have their own private little date. How's that sound? Hmm. Can we pick who we want to go? Oh, here we go. So we'll take Ali, Clay, and... Oh. Mm, Bianca? Bianca. All right, so the kids can do their own little thing and hopefully we might actually meet some other teens while we're out. That would be, that would be kind of cool. Uh, but we'll see how we go. We'll get seated at a table and we'll open up the shop as well. So 
open it up and then they can get their own table service. Oh, so cute. I love these two. Are you wearing? Oh, you need to wear your, uh, your nice little friendship necklace with Bianca. There we go. They're little daisy chains. All right. And maybe we'll meet some other teens here. I hope so. Um, so let's get Ali to request a table. For the kids. And we'll keep an eye out for anyone we could meet that Ali could potentially get with. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And we'll speak to you soon. I'll speak to you soon. <laughs> See ya.